we always start off with a with a normal snaffle. You know, I really like these snaffles with the copper in the middle. Just bring it here because because I think the the copper they seem to mouth up a little bit better with a with the copper. So quite often with these, they just have a normal snaffle. Well, all of them, normal snaffle, and and if they're a little bit strong, then basically most of that is is their strength to hold themselves, not anything to do with the horse. You know, it needs to learn. Um, you know, if they get strong, they actually they keep doing a transition until they learn to carry at the speed you want it to go. It's not about putting a different bridle in. And until we were starting to think about, they were even. I would say very rarely, but it belong younger than six or seven. Would we ever change out of a plain snaffle with it? You know, sometimes we might have one that's particularly difficult with his tongue, and put a tongue layer to try and that it, because they try and flick their tongues over the over the bit. But you've got a flash on there. Is that pretty standard? Pretty standard. Sometimes I think we we perhaps put them on too often because we get used to putting them on you know, when they don't need them, because they don't all need one. But what I try and do is is do the, the top top one fairly tight and just fairly loose on this on the bottom flash mm -hmm. so that she can still mouth up and learn to mouth it. She don't, oh, and then that she, so she learns to, that she can still open her mouth. And the same, the, the top one, so yes, she learns to keep it, but she can still open her mouth. You know, she, so often that the top one, is so loose that when you do the flash up it's pulled down here cutting off the air supply basically the, the I would much prefer and, and, and the other thing which sort of quite often when people come here they end up you know to me the top the top caverson wants to be right up tight underneath the cheekbone I'd rather see a mark on the cheekbone from it being too high than it being too low and ended up ending up with it right down here and when the when the if it's too low, when you pull on the mouth, the skin pinches, and then the horse gets as as a reaction because it, because it pulls against the, which is common sense, but it's something that probably I would see at least half the horses that you see at an amateur level that people think that they you know that to have it low because the pony club said yes they don't like rubbing on the on the cheekbone. Some horses have got quite a low cheekbone anyway. It ends up so low that they end up with pinching there. And as you understand, you know, a horse's mouth is probably as soft as ours. So the last thing you want is to think, you know, is to really, it's treating them with your hands and with everything else like that, like you'd like to be treated if somebody put a bit in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't use Martin Gales at all when you're um, You know, if we get one particularly difficult at this stage throwing his head about, we'd probably put a standing Martin Gale on loosely so that it, it, you know, if, if one's difficult, that, that he realises he can't escape that way. But no, normally, um, we wouldn't. It wouldn't be necessary. 